Hey guys, Bark Lion here, Lion Horses. Today I got a little Friday philosophy talk for us. And uh, I saw this meme the other day on Facebook and I was like, hmm, really like a lot of it. Probably needs a little context and not for everybody. Not that, you know, it's, it's really good. I'll read it to you and then I'll explain what I was talking about. It says, when you truly don't care what anyone thinks of you, you have reached a dangerously awesome level of freedom. And then I thought, mm, you know, there's several people I'd love to send that to. And I think, you know, they could definitely, definitely help them. And there's some people I think that have already taken that too far. So I know several people that if they thought somebody didn't like them or yeah, thought poorly of them it would affect them mentally and emotionally. Yeah, it, 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 they would worry about it. They would, yeah. But a lot of times the people that maybe didn't think they did something right or whatever, really probably, yeah, probably didn't have very much to, to go on. But there's some people I know that they took that to a whole new level and they really don't care what anybody thinks of them. And we call those narcissists. I mean, that's kind of what we do. You don't think, you don't care what anybody thinks of you? Anybody? Like, what, you think you're the best human on the face of the earth and so nobody, you know, you don't care what anybody thinks of you? Hmm, that might be stretching it a little bit, huh? So anyway, I was thinking about this and I thought, you know, we need to be careful who we let affect our emotions and our, our mental, our mental peace and, and yeah, what, how it affects the future. So there are several people that I know that if they thought I was doing a poor job training a horse, I frankly wouldn't care. I've seen their horses and frankly, they're not very good. So, you know, it's like, you know, yeah, yeah I, I see you, I, I hear you. You you don't think I'm doing it the right way. And um, yes, none of yours can beat any of mine doing anything. So, you know, yours are running off half the time and half of them buck you off. And so, yeah, if you don't think I'm doing a good job, frankly, I don't really care. Then there's other people that I look up to, some of my mentors, um, yeah. And so those people, I do care what they think about me and, and how I'm doing because I'm trying to get better. And unless I'm at the top of the heap, those above me, I should care um, at least a little bit about what they think, how I'm doing. Am I, am I living up to my potential? Am I getting better? Or am I doing a good job? So yeah, those are, those are things we need to listen to and think about. So I really like that quote. What I would really, what I'd like to say is we need to divide the group that we don't care about and the group we do care about into two different groups. So when somebody says something to you and it's and it's negative, like they think you should be better, or they feel, don't think you're doing a good job, or whatever. We need to analyze first, does that person, do I care what that person thinks? Or should I care what that person thinks? If you're trying to be a better rainer, or a better dressage person, or a better jumper, or a better cult starter, or a better problem solver, whatever it is that you're working with your horse on, you're working on getting it better at a certain thing and that person knows more than you about that thing and they say hey I wouldn't do that if I were you or maybe that's not the best way to approach that yeah I'm gonna start I'm gonna take some stock in that I'm gonna think about that I'm gonna um, yeah I'm gonna be much more um, I'm gonna value their input way more if that person I really don't I'm not impressed with the way their horse operates or how their horse behaves or whatever it's like yeah uh, appreciate your appreciate your input but um, I'm gonna do it my way so 
we need to we need to kind of think about that if you there there's no matter what you do somebody will will not think it's very good some people are going to think it's you know too far one way and some people are going to think it's too far in the other way and then some people you know are going to say it's kind of in the middle so no matter what we do somebody's not going to be happy and so if we're always trying to please people hmm yeah that could be very effective also if we don't try to please anybody um you know we we are living in a in a social construct and so because of that we have to get along with people so if you don't really care about anybody you're probably not going to get along with very many people and that's going to be difficult because if you don't get along with very many people yeah there's you know you, you get hard to get when you're hard to get along with nobody likes you anymore so i want to be a little bit of both i you know if if somebody that's a, a jerk doesn't like me hmm, yeah I, I don't sweat it very much but if somebody that i value their opinion um i think they've got a lot of insight and wisdom they say, hey, I, I don't think you should have done that, or I think you should do that better, or whatever. I take some stock in that. So anyway, as we're all trying to be better people and, and better owners for our horses, yeah, take that into consideration. Remember, there's a little bit of a balance there. So anyway, remember, we're all trying to be the person our horse deserves. Catch you next time.